Good morning, fellow travelers. Today we're at the historic O'Keefe Ranch. Let's go explore. Historic sign marker to prove it. O'Keefe Ranch, one of the earliest cattle empires in the Okanagan, began in 1867. The O'Keefe Ranch was founded in 1867 at the peak of the Caribou Gold Rush. And by 1900, it had grown to cover over 12,000 acres. This is the O'Keefe House. It was built by Cornelius O'Keefe in 1886, using the wealth that he acquired supplying beef to the Canadian Pacific Railway for construction workers. This is interesting. The original siding was a wooden drop siding that was from 1886, but apparently it became difficult to maintain. So in 1944, but in 1944, they had the entire building stuccoed, which is why it looks the way it does today. And this corner was removed so you could see what the original siding looked like. And in behind the O'Keefe house, this is the meat and dairy house. Used for storing provisions. Looks like these are old ice picks that'd be used to handle large blocks of ice. Used to keep meat and dairy fresh. Cool. Here's the Chinese cook's house. Fairly rustic. There's a photo of two of the Chinese cooks, Mr. Wong and Mr. Fun, circa 1905. They would have lived right here in this little bunkhouse. This here is the log house. This was constructed in the 1870s and it was the main residence of the O'Keefe's before the mansion was built years later. Beautiful little dining room. In the living room. A lot of the old furniture is still intact. It says to paper the log buildings, cotton was attached to the wall with tacks, and then glue was applied to the back of the wallpaper, pressed onto the cotton, and the cotton prevented the wallpaper from buckling over the wooden boards. Looks like we can check out the upstairs too. Where the O'Keefe children would have lived. It said this was the birthplace of seven children, which is I guess why they needed to build a bigger mansion. And over here we've got the post office and general store. This is the Okanagan post office. It says that Cornelius O'Keefe established the first post office in Okanagan Valley in 1872 inside the general store and he remained postmaster until 1912. The general store is packed full of an assortment of items. There's a few interesting finds here. These are mustache cups so you can have your tea without dipping your mustache in it. I think this vintage poster is very cool. And I was surprised to learn that these vintage pharmaceuticals from over a hundred years ago still have some of their original contents in them. The old blacksmith shop. Unfortunately, the original blacksmith shop was torn down in the 1950s, but it's been recreated with a lot of the original parts here. And behind the church is the O'Keefe Cemetery. 
A lot of the original members of the O'Keefe family are buried here, including Elizabeth, beloved wife of Cornelius O'Keefe, died in 1929. And Cornelius O'Keefe himself died 1919 at age 81. It's quite old for that era. And here's a memorial to Marianne O'Keefe, also wife of Cornelius O'Keefe. Looked like she died in 1899 at age 49 years. And then Cornelius would have remarried Elizabeth who he was married to until he passed away in 1919. And here's the implements shed. This was built by the O'Keefe's in the 1900s to house a lot of the farming machinery and keep it protected. There's a green wagon, an old thresher, Those spikes would do some threshing. Old tractors. One of the more important buildings on the ranch, the smokehouse. Used by the O'Keefe's to smoke their own ham and bacon. I'm getting hungry. Here's the old schoolhouse. All the chalkboards out there, used by all the students. Over here's the O'Keefe Ranch Chainsaw Armchair. This was an old stump that was removed, and they had a chainsaw artist come in and created this armchair, positioned so you can perfectly watch the sunset over the ranch. The O'Keefe family continued to ranch at this location until modern times, living in a beautiful Victorian house that had been built during the ranch's heyday. Well, thanks for joining me today for a tour of the O'Keefe Ranch. Remember to keep exploring, and until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.